Hello everyone, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily write effective prompts using OpenAI's prompting feature. And this is going to greatly improve the structure, content, and output of your prompts. And the best part is that it's absolutely free. So the first thing that you need to do is search for platform OpenAI in Google. You can go to platform.openai.com. Once you've clicked on that, it will take you to the main interface. It will ask you to sign in, but once you've signed in, you can then head over to where it says playground. And once you click on that, this is the main interface that you're going to see. What we need to do is go to where we have this star icon here. And once we click on that, it will open a little box that says describe what you're using this model for and we'll generate the system instructions. So this is actually where we're going to be writing the instructions for the prompt that we need. So I'm just going to enter here, create a downloadable PowerPoint presentation on the impact of AI on healthcare. And I'm just going to click on create. And you can see now that it's come back with a detailed prompt. So let's see what it's done. Create a detailed and engaging PowerPoint presentation on the impact of AI on healthcare. And then it says the presentation should be professionally designed and structured to highlight key areas, incorporate data, visuals, and real world examples. The presentation should be suitable for both academic and professional audiences. And then it outlines the different steps that it's going to take one research and content development and then gather comprehensive information slide structure and design visuals and examples final review and then it talks about the output format the output should be a powerpoint.pptx file that can be downloaded and viewed with typical presentation software the presentation should include a total of 10 to 15 slides and then it also includes notes that you can consider including speaker notes and so on and you can see that this is the detailed prompt that it has come back with. What we can do now is copy this prompt and put it exactly as it is into ChatGPT and see what it comes back with. And you will see that straight away, it starts to prepare the PowerPoint presentation. And now I've got a link that I can download. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download to see what the output is. And then I can open it. And what you'll see here is then I've got the full presentation. What you'll notice is that it's well structured into the presentation as all the complete sections. And then, as I said in a previous video that I did on um, how to create a PowerPoint presentation with ChatGPT, you can then go and play around with it. You can change the design and you can then play around with the individual slides as well. And obviously we'd still need to do a lot of things to this to get it looking uh, like a proper presentation, but you can see that initially, through using the uh, OpenAI prompt, I was able to get a well-designed proper presentation. So what I did was take the output and then put it into ChatGPT and I got the presentation. It was well-structured. However, in order for you to get the exact output that you want, you should also play around with this prompt. And what you can do to make this initial prompt even better is to take the actual prompt into chat GPT and refine it even further. So for example, I'm going to say, I want you to improve the below prompt by adding some more real life examples in the relevant areas and to make sure there are references at the end. So I'm just going to enter that. And you can see that it's now taken the prompt and then it's added the extra parts that we've asked it to in terms of here, real life examples. Okay. And you can also see that it's added some references at the end and you can play around with this prompt until you're happy with it. You refine it as much as you can. And then once you're ready, you can then copy the entire prompt again, go to new window and then enter it as your final prompt. And what it will do is now create a new presentation based on the refined information that we have. Okay, so you can see that now it says, I'll create a comprehensive PowerPoint presentation based on your request. And then it says, it's given me the outline of the different points. And now I'll proceed with the content, visuals and design. So I'm gonna say proceed. And now you can see that it will now once more, it will start creating the presentation now we can download the presentation. And now you can see we've got the updated presentation and we've got the detailed references at the end. So as you saw, using the systems instructions by going to OpenAI's platform can give you an initial really strong prompt that you can work with and then refine in order to get the amazing output that you want in the end. Now I want to go back to Playground and I want to give you another example. And in this case, we are going to say, I want to create a comprehensive outline for a literature review on the topic of AI in healthcare. And I'm gonna create that. 
And again, you can see that it's come back with the detailed prompt for me to use in order to enter into ChatGPT. So it says here, create a comprehensive outline for a literature review on the topic of AI in healthcare. Start with an introduction to AI and its relevance in the healthcare industry. And then it's got the steps. And you can see that it's added the right notations that make it so much more easier for chat GPT to follow and to understand. So here I've got the introduction and I've got the historical background. I've got the current applications and so on. So seven parts um, up to the conclusion. Again, the output format. And this will start to get us to understand the structure that chat GPT likes to get its prompts in. So it gets the content first and then always has a section on the output. So here the output is the provide the outline in detailed bullet point format, including sub points where applicable. And then here we've got a section on examples. So now it's giving get an example to show it how it should respond. Example, introduction, define AI, discuss its significance in healthcare. I'm going to leave you a link on uh, the best way to prompt ChatGPT as well. And if you look at that video, you'll see that by providing ChatGPT with examples, we always get a better output because then it understands exactly what we're looking for. And what you can do again is that you can go to any of these sections and you can add more content, more information. So again, I can copy this entire prompt and I can take it back into ChatGPT. I can paste it in. What you can say in order to refine it. So always refining it is a very important step unless you're extremely happy with the initial prompt. So I'm going to just here add, I want to improve the below prompt by doing the following, add more critical analysis, add references, add real life examples. And I'm just going to leave a space between the actual prompt and I'm going to enter that. And now you can see that it has come back with the comprehensive outline for the literature review on the topic of AI and healthcare with all the detailed sections, with all the information that was provided in the initial prompt. So as we've seen, using OpenAI's playground to generate the prompts for us is an absolutely essential tool. And this is completely free to use. So I really recommend that you test out your prompts by getting it to write your prompts for you first and then putting it into ChatGPT. So I hope you found this video video useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.